Rohit. I'm kind of noob, so I wanted to learn Burp Suit, but someone told me to use that for newcomers. What do you think? Okay, so Zap or Burp Suite? I think both are great. Uh, Burp Suite, the community edition, which is free, doesn't give you the entire power of the program unless you buy the professional edition or the, yeah, it's the pro edition, which is like $40 a month or something or 500 a year, something like that. It's well worth it, but you get the free version is, is probably gonna suffice it if you're starting in bug bounties. However, you get uh, a lot of the features of the pro edition of Burp into Zap. So if you have Kali Linux or Parrot OS installed on your system, or if even if you have Windows installed on your system, you can just uh, get Zap from OWASP's website and actually start working with it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, I think both of the tools are uh, really good, but it might be that Burp is more popular than uh, Zap, but this doesn't mean that Zap isn't as good. I actually started working with Zap a couple of days ago. I think it was last week when um, I was doing this uh, thing on a bounty program and I, I wanted to test the capabilities of, OAP, of of Zap. And I actually started using it because it was pre-installed pre in, um, in Parrot OS. It's not that one it's harder or more difficult than the other. It's just that there are two tools, two proxies that are used for basically the same purpose. Um, and you'll probably find a ton of tutorials online on how to use them. And I'm actually probably going to start uh, making tutorials on Zap. If you want to gain an edge over other cybersecurity professionals, take my Python for Pentesters course and uh, learn how to leverage the power of Python in penetration testing and cybersecurity. Link in the description.